football agents. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that I don't know if it's like Mercury's in retrograde. Um, if my rising Venus is lining up with my my moon setting Aries or something, if something's going on with football agents, right? And it's got to be something in the chakras, right? I feel like football agents would be the type of people to believe in that stuff, right? Because uh, we all knew, we've always known. If you if you didn't have the wool over your eyes, if you're not a sheeple, right? You've always known that football agents do all sorts of weird things to manipulate the market. Right, to make it so their client is the one that's going to be getting the attention at the end of the day, to make it so their client has one or two other clubs allegedly interested in them that are, you know, maybe don't exist in real life. And to be honest, that's all fair game, right? There is a huge kind of gray matter area that is player transfers in the modern market. I mean, it's it, there's a ton of money flying around. Everybody's trying to take advantage of everybody else. And you need an agent to be able to handle and then like navigate that sort of area. So I don't hate all agents, right? But it is really funny in now because it seems like a certain Instagram influencer type crowd has invaded the agent space, right? There's money, there's followers, there's fake followers. They usually don't care about the difference, right? There's this there, there's this delusion of grandeur that you can achieve, right? If you are a football agent, you are one step away from some of maybe the most famous people in the world. And one of those agents has been exposed for a hilarious mistake. A couple, actually. I mean, I, there's a second one I want to talk about, too. But the first one is an actual show-stopping headline that just smacked me across the face. It has to do with Jaden Philogene. Now, I, d I don't know if you remember Jaden Philogene. You might. If you don't remember him, uh, this goal might help jog your memory. That's Jaden Philogene. Uh, he's just won the ball here, and he's about to score one of the nastiest goals you've ever seen. Uh, right? It, it actually, it later came out at the, it, you know, after that goal came out, that the ball had deflected off the head of the defender, kind of in the front of the goal. But that was a nasty goal. Jaden Philogene was getting puskish shouts, and that was the first time I heard his name. And that is not the only case of that, right? I feel like if you don't watch a lot of championship ball, live in England, right? Uh, maybe you're a huge Hull City fan somewhere, but you didn't know who Jaden Philogene was until that goal. But I'll be honest, I don't watch a lot of Hull City, right? I know you might count on me to be somebody that tries to watch everything all the time, but I don't watch a lot of Hull City. In fact, I probably never watched Jaden Philogene play even after that. So it was a little interesting when I saw rumors start to pop up that Jaden Philogene was perhaps headed to Barcelona. But you know what my first assumption was is, oh, that goal must be a broader indication of this kid being a really spectacular player, right? He's, he's breaking through. He is bursting through at Hull City, and he is rising to the very, very top. But the Hull City to Barcelona pipeline is not a particularly well-trodden one. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure Ronaldinho went through that. But, you know, not a lot of other players have gone whole city to, to Barcelona. So it was, it was a surprising headline, but it was one that a lot of people bought, including Barcelona. This is a Barcelona fan like news site with the title Jaden Philogene tipped to turn down Barcelona in favor of a Premier League move. And the, the subtitle just says the winger is in demand. Like, yeah, I guess that's kind of the point of this whole thing, right? The winger is apparently highly valuable, highly desired across the footballing world, right? And you can see the, like, going from Hull City to a mid-level Premier League team is not the worst thing in the world, right? There was rumors of an offer from Everton, rumors from an offer here, offer there. There's Everton fan posts about this whole thing that, that Jaden Philogene is going to go to Everton, very similar type title uh, to this one with Barcelona. And, and nobody really thought too much of it. I mean, we're in kind of the silly season right now, and other than just going, wow, that kid's on the rise, you didn't look too much farther past it. But there was something that added a lot of flame to, you know, like the smoke that Jaden Philogene might be going to Barcelona. The actual fire was uh, this pair of pictures, which was posted by Jaden, uh, they were posted by Jaden Philogene's agent. Uh, now, Jaden Philogene's agent put these pictures on Instagram, on his story, on his personal Instagram. And they were two pictures of him at the Barcelona facilities. Uh, you know, he's looking like he's auditioning to be a GQ model. Uh, he's got the, he's got the fitted suit. He's got the, he's got the watch. 
It's out there. He's pretending to be on the phone. All of these very important agent type pictures. He's got an underpaid and overworked assistant who thinks he's going to gleam some cloud out of this, taking these pictures, following him around. I can't even imagine how many different versions of these pictures he took. But this, unfortunately, is what would eventually lead to his demise. Because while these pictures would lead you to believe that Jaden Philogene's agent was there to perhaps negotiate with Barcelona about Jaden Philogene being involved. In fact, I was informed via this incredible Reddit post this morning that wasn't quite what happened. This is the reason I'm making this whole video. Jaden Philogene's agent showed up unannounced at Barcelona HQ in the morning, started taking pictures of himself, he then uploaded to his socials before being escorted away by security. Philogene was, reported, uh, was reportedly close to Barcelona, but the club denies showing any interest or link with the player. I'm sorry. Elite. This is elite shithousery. And I mean in the stupidest way. I mean in the most transparently self-interested way. If I was Jaden Philogene, I'd fire this guy tomorrow. I mean, you, you cannot be this stupid about the way you're going to try and create these links. And you cannot make yourself look like a pretend model while doing so, right? You can't, like, play superstar, play famous person on the internet, right, when you're, when you're, trying, to, you're trying to do all of this stuff, right? You got to join me in the not famous people section, and that's fine. Just hop over in the corner with me. The water's fine. Right? Yeah, we might have to sit in economy on airplanes, but that's okay. The Comfort Plus thing is really expensive. No, but you can't blame me. I read this and instantly knew I had to talk about this. And it just all this stuff starts coming out really over the last day or two that it's just all completely fake. Now, according to Sport right here, the pictures were actually taken over a month before they were posted. And the agent was there to discuss signing players in Barca's academy. Just, there's so much yikes here. First of all, I like to imagine that the agent it goes to a lot of academies for top clubs and then just takes like 150 super hot, glamorous pictures in front of the clubs just in case he needs to try and bait more interest from other teams. And also the sentence, you know, to discuss youth players in Barca's academy just gives me a scummy feeling. I know there's probably a right way to set it up where you expose academy players to agents and kind of give them options and maybe a panel setting or something. There's a non-gross way to do it. But my first reaction is, ooh, brother, ooh. You know, like that's that's my first reaction to hearing that Barcelona academy players are being exposed to this dude who's more worried about which palm trees he's going to take a picture in front of in the parking lot. Now, the Reddit post, I haven't been able to confirm like that he got thrown out by security. It seems like he was there, just not to do anything with Jaden Philogene. They were able to confirm he did not meet with Deco, who's the, the sporting director at Barcelona. And basically, if you were talking about a senior transfer, that's who he would have been talking to. He did not meet with him. Uh, and uh, there was a report from Marca that Barcelona was at least scouting Philogene. But they, they also said they were surprised uh, that, that Philogene rumors were starting to pop up all over the place. Uh, he was a long way down on the list of priorities at the left wing position. And in the same reporting, it's very clear that they're interested in, in, in Nico Williams. And who wouldn't be interested in Nico Williams over Jaden Philogene? Nico Williams is busy lighting up the Euros. And Nico and Jaden Philogene's somebody that needs to go prove it at Crystal Palace first, basically. Now the reported interest for Jaden Philogene is not just Crystal Palace, it's Ipswich and Everton as well. So that, that seems like more of his level. He's a good player. Right, his agent's just an idiot. He's not the only dumb agent out there, though. Because I was putting this together, I found another one. I'm just going to read you this: a Football Italia headline. The, the agents are cooked, right? If you have an agent like this, you just need to fire them. Ex Liverpool defender, that's the agent, offers Rangers man to Lecce, but sends message to wrong person. Specifically, he sent an Instagram DM to a fan account of the Lecce manager instead of the actual Lecce manager. In the DM, we have it. You know, at least reportedly, we have the DM from Jose Enrique, who's the agent here. Hello, Luca. Hope you are well and nice talking to you. Is Jose Enrique here a former football player and football agent? I have two players that I believe could be of your interest. Both of them are signed by me and my brother. Can you let me know your thoughts? Thank you. And then he literally attaches the transfer marked page for Marcus Patterson and Todd Cantwell. Unbelievable. Un Unbelievable. If you got, if I got a DM 
right? Like if I was trying to buy a TV on Facebook Marketplace on Craigslist and I got this DM with, with, with the, the, the poor English involved, with the lack of capitalization all over, I would be sketched out, let alone a transfer that has to do with players that could potentially be worth millions of dollars, right? Like this is how this is done. I mean, this sounds like the sort of message that my grandma gets and thinks that the power company is about to shut off her power, but it's just some scammer trying to get access to her socialist security code or make her buy like $500 worth of gift cards because that's somehow how you're going to pay the IRS now. Like, that's what this message looks like. Not only, like if this message got leaked and it was sent to the right person, I would be wowed. Right, but if this this message was to the wrong person, bro, you got to, like your agent matters. If you were Todd Cantwell or Marcus Patterson, get rid of this dude. Like, it's not like he's got some Rolodex to be able to contact these players or these managers or directors, I mean. He's just looking them up on Instagram, and he can't even take the time to make sure he's sending the message to the right person. This is cr- like the, the agents. The era of agents has officially attracted the people that just probably shouldn't be agents, right? Or that just they're not doing it that well. Right, Jaden Philogene's going to end up on a decent team, at least, though. Mark, Marcus Patterson, Todd Cantwell, you just got to make sure your agent DMs the right person. Try and point him in the right direction. Maybe send him a few Instagram accounts. Do a little legwork, and then maybe he'll be able to figure it out, you know? I, I don't know. <laughs>